And, and then before I get to the <laughs> white, you know, we right. have the Hank Aaron yeah, yeah. 755 yeah. Cabernet Sauvignon. And, yeah. and I took Hank to, to Opus a couple mm -hmm. years ago, he and Mr. Moorhead, mm -hmm. uh, you know, his best buddy uh, and, and their wives, mm -hmm. Billy and Joyce, and I took them to, to Opus. Okay. And so, you know, I let Hank taste some of our wine at the mm -hmm. time. You know, he was drinking Dusty's, you know, uh, Syrah, Dusty's Vineyard Syrah. Okay, okay. And so he says, you know, he called me Gold Dust, or mm -hmm. he has all these nicknames. Right. <laughs> so he goes, hey, man, I think you got something there. Wow. And so I'm right. like, okay, Hank, you know, I mm -hmm. mean, I think he's being yeah. nice. Just right, nice right, right, right. So he goes, hey, man, yeah. can you, can you uh, make me a bold cab? Mm. And I said, well, let me talk to the professor. Let me talk to Chick. <laughs> and so Chick sent him some, uh, you know, three or four different right. calves to try. Right. And uh, Hank said, oh, I like this one. And so then my daughter and son-in-law came up with the... Yeah, it's a great label. looking bottle. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, which it. we had to have yeah. clearance from the league. Right? Yeah, uh, I wondered about that. Oh, yeah. 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 You, you know, and Chick you, you, uh, you know, took care of that and... Uh, and then Hank and Mr. Moorhead yeah. say, hey, man, we want to be part of your company. And I'm like, wow. come on, man. Wow. And he goes, yeah, I'm serious about that. They and liked so, it that much. That's great. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's, uh, I've never seen him so happy. It was a oh. year and a half, mm -hmm. all, about a year ago, great. that, uh, you know, Hank joined our company. And so, that, I mean, that's pressure. Yeah. I yeah, mean, I'm, I'm serious. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there yeah, ain't yeah. no pressure in the world. So the pressure is if Hank Aaron likes, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. what his name is on. Right. And so yeah, you want to make sure that it's something that he can yeah. be proud of, and you guys can exactly. be proud of, and and you uh, know, Hank, Hank, let, let me tell you, um, mm -hmm. Hank's helping us from heaven. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because yeah. since since Hank's passing. I mean, I mean, we have record-breaking sales, especially. Well, everybody wants a, a bottle to yeah. have as a collector's, and, and, and uh, you know. January was historically our, you know, our slowest month. Oh wow. You know, after Christmas, mm -hmm. people are back to work, bad weather, but this is. This is our best month that we've had wow. so far. Can we show the think, bottle real quick? Because sure, I just think this is sure. an out, outstanding bottle and uh, label. And I just think that, you know, one, now it's it, it's definitely a tribute to Hammer and Hank Aaron, who meant yeah. so much to baseball. And it meant so much to me. And I can yeah. tell you, this is, this is uh, you know, the work of my... My daughter and my nice. son-in-law. That is awesome. So you kept it in the family, and yeah. of course, you and Hank Aaron played together on the Braves, right? Yeah. I mean, well, you know, he ago. was responsible for me signing because he told my mom he'd take care of me as if I was his son. Wow. I was wow. 18 years old. I signed in Dodger Stadium, even though I was living in Northern Cal. They flew me and my mother wow. down. And, uh, you know, um, wow. that's the day I met him. But you see, that was pretty slick of the, of the Braves. They knew I was a, a, a Dodger fan. <laughs> yeah, right. So they flew me and my oh, mom man. to L.A. Uh -huh. I worked out. On the, on the Dodger Stadium field with the players, mm -hmm. and the guys were like the stands. The guys in the stands, I had a little duffel bag that you know, uh -huh. like a, uh -huh. a little basketball bag. Right, right, yeah. They were yeah. Getting off the bus with Hank Aaron and Felipe Lou and right. Joe Torre and all. Oh my gosh. I was 18 years old, so I worked out with them. Mm -hmm. And so I'm in the outfield, had a uniform on, and the kids were like, "Hey, no number," because I'd have a number on the back. Oh, nice. Yeah, that was my no, name. No number. No number. Yeah. And so <laughs> then I got back to the hotel. I told my mom, I said, "Yeah." Yeah, I think I can do this. And so right. Hank told my mom that he hey, really man, watch out for you. Yeah. Well, not only watch out, he, he 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 gave me a challenge that if I had enough confidence in myself that that I could be in the big leagues by the time my my, my class would have graduated from Santa Clara. Oh wow! Yeah, to you know to go mm -hmm. on and sign. If not, then right. go to Santa Clara to play basketball. And so wow, lo and behold, it was uh, meant to be. Obviously. Well, and the next year I was in the big leagues. I was yeah. in the September yeah. call up. So oh wow, yeah, and I'm yeah. sure he had a lot to do with it.